Hi everyone, my name is Ben Lampert. I'm the sales engineer for Hologram, and today we're going to be looking at the Cradle Point Router. My name is Chris Campbell. I'm in the Developer Relations Group, and I'm here to help. So, Ben, what is a Cradle Point? Awesome. So, the Cradle Point is a gateway device. So, the idea is that you put a cellular SIM card, a Hologram SIM, in a router, and then it broadcasts Wi Fi for other devices to connect to. Okay. So this is really useful for, say, industrial applications where you want to connect a bunch of sensors, mm -hmm. controllers, or whatever it is around a, a deployment, but you don't want to rely on the infrastructure that is there, someone right. IT department doing Wi-Fi or whatever. Right, and I, I actually learned this term when I started Hologram because gateways are not, you know, this is going to be a Wi-Fi gateway we go over today, but gateways can just be basically cellular to other things, right? So That's there's right. also Sigfox, LoRa, Z Wave, yeah, all exactly. Eight hundred two fifteen, whatever, right? So mm -hmm. there's just Gateway is a, a general class of things. This is going to be a very specific one and actually a brand name one uh, that's kind of built for industrial, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah. great. So uh, Cradle Point is well, let's let's open it up, right? We have one here. We do. Uh, so we have our SIM card there on top, and we're going to actually, uh, you know, try and get this thing online. Uh, this is going to be so we're going to we're going to be a little bit jumpy here between different things. We're going to you know basically cut back and forth between actually getting things plugged in. Uh, the, but the first step, uh, so ben, you see Ben unpacking here. The first step is probably activating a SIM, right? That's kind of the big thing. Anytime you're using a hologram SIM card, you need to activate it on our dashboard, right? So what what is what is the usual process for that? Uh, sure. So what you will do is you will go to so. Get your hardware, get a SIM, first mm -hmm. off. So yes. you should get a hologram SIM. Yes. Uh, step one, buy a SIM. Step one. <laughs> Sales uh, guy. <laughs> <laughs> so then you go to dashboard.hologram.io. Mm -hmm. So once you're there, you are prompted to create an account. Yep. And you sign up with your, your oh, email address. I'm already logged in here. And right. yeah, it looks like you're already logged let's, in. Let's do a new one here so we can see what it looks like. So this is what you'll see when you're actually logging into a dashboard for the first time. Yeah. So if you don't have an account, you can go and you have to sign up, right? That's right, yeah. Okay. So you get an account, you sign up, and then you'll be prompted to activate a SIM. So what that looks like is this is the hologram SIM oh. on the back. Uh, you'll see the ICC ID of the device. So basically, uh, activate, you'll get the ICC ID, you'll type that in. And then you can basically activate the, the SIM to be active. Great. OK. And that's, I mean, activation is, uh, if people aren't, aren't you know, familiar, this is what you do for your cell phone as well. This is just actually putting, you know, registering an actual unique ID onto the network, right? OK, so let's go. I'm already logged in here on my dashboard. And we can see that I actually already had a, uh, a cradle point test that I was doing before. But let's go and actually activate. Let's just go through the works of activating a new SIM now, right? So this is something where. We want to go and put a brand new SIM card onto my account here, right? So we're going to actually, uh, I could type in the, the card number. Uh, let's see, what is the, the card number? And like Ben said, uh, it's the card number is here on the bottom. It's next to the, uh, next to this, uh, what is that called? Barcode? Yeah. Uh, okay, so I'm going to type this in, 8944 840. Okay. Okay, great. And then so what is what is this point then? At this point, what, what do we have to choose? Yeah, absolutely. So this is uh, probably the, one of the points where you should take a look at our website and see what we offer. So there are a variety of different plans that you can select. So at this point you've typed in the ICC ID, you are ready to activate, and you need to make a decision on what plan to select. So what does this look like? So for new users, we have a one meg free option, so that's a developer plan. Realistically, that's not going to go very far with the Cradle Point right, router. Exactly. Uh, so right. we'll probably skip that for now. Uh, so the two other options are pay as you go and monthly. So if you go to a hologram a pricing page, you'll get to see a little bit about what this looks like. And actually, there's a more detailed option, full pricing detail. So this is basically what you are selecting. So pay as you go, there are sort of two uh, options here. So pay as you go is very useful for a device where, say, you don't know how much data you're going to use. Mm -hmm. It's going to be sort of variable. Uh, it could be nothing for the most part, or it could be a lot, right? So pay as you go, there's two fees. There's a platform fee, which is this, a monthly cost to have a SIM registered on the global network. Mm -hmm. And then the cost of the data that you pay for. Uh, so that's billed per kilobyte. So if you're sending small little messages, uh, it's very affordable to, to do that. Right. That's a lot of the, you know, out in the field, just like sips of data kind of thing. That's right, yeah. And it's, yeah, it seems like specifically because we're talking about the Cradle Point router, this is going to be, you potentially could 
you know, put a lot of data through it. So That's right. it's probably more likely that people would go with monthly on this kind of exactly. thing. Exactly. So the, the other option here is monthly. So the idea here is that you prepay for a certain amount of data and you get better rates for it. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you can go through the pricing here. We have a, a, another prepaid option, which is for high bandwidth in the US. So this is on the T-Mobile network. And it's fairly attractive data rates for things like, you know, if you're doing a kiosk, or, for example, or right. yeah. actually what I recommend customers is if they're testing for the first time, they yeah. use a high bandwidth plan so they can use tons of data right. and not right. sort of lose their shirt on it. Right. Yeah, because I've seen it where I've actually, even yesterday, I, I was just you know browsing, using this computer like we're sh we'll show you. I was actually going back through the router using it as my Wi-Fi connection and easily pulled 35 megs just because yeah, exactly. you don't really notice it, right? Unless you're doing a you know, small, we cover a lot of IoT devices, those are small, you know what, how many messages you're sending. Whereas when you have a computer running or even a single board computer like a, a Raspberry Pi, mm -hmm. you don't always know, you know, you do like an app get update and you're like, oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. So yeah, yeah I, that's, that is a good plan. Okay, so uh, we we're going to register here. Um, I've got some credits already in here, benefits of working here. And uh, so, yeah, let's just activate it, yeah? Uh, yeah, eight. so I put it on the oh, 250 mag. Perfect, okay, yeah. so this is going to be a, a very strong thing here. So what you'll see here is uh, this card is actually going to activate now. And oh, where'd it go? It's uh, an unnamed it's a, device, right? Uh, this one? Yeah. Oh, no, sorry, uh, the other one. Too many. It's still activated, right? No, no, this is, oh, this one here. Sorry, this uh, one here. There you go. Activating 93, uh, yep. 93840. Okay, so I can go in here, um, and it's kind of just sitting around waiting for it to go. Uh, once it is activated, we will be able to actually rename it, too. You see the one at the bottom here. Cradle Point Test is one I did yesterday. This is another one here. So this this is the SIM card. We're going to just keep going with the, the device we already have in there. So we're going to uh, take that card we just activated and put it into the device now. Uh, so let's let's do that. Yeah, perfect. All right, so this is the SIM card that we just activated. Uh, I'm going to pop it out of the card here so we can take a look. I always forget, is this the micro? This is mini, right? Uh, I always okay. forget. Mini this is micro the big one. <laughs> nano, right? Yeah. This is the big one, right? This is the big one. Yeah. Um, it officially is like 4FF or something like yeah. that. Um, yeah, it's one of those. So we're going to be inserting this. Uh, it's very hard to see on camera, but there's a small diagram here for the orientation. Basically, you just look for the slots and you line it up. So we're going to put that in here. And it should click, so that is good. And then for this model, there's a bay that you have to close, so we're going to close that. Uh, triggers a switch, and now you should see uh, no signals on the light yet because we haven't configured it yet. Uh, so now this device is broadcasting on Wi-Fi, so we're now going to connect yes. on Wi-Fi to it. So first step is actually find the, the Wi-Fi access point, which in this case is the IBR 200-A5F, yeah, right? Listed on the, the back oh, here. Yeah, that's really hard to see, but yep. it's listed on the back here. Right. Okay. Cool. And then we're going to go to 192.168.0.1. Not that, not yet. Oh, uh, not yeah. actually hooked in. Yeah. yeah. Not yeah. actually hooked yeah. in first. Okay. Now, uh, that may actually ask you for a password there. Uh, it, the default password is both the login for the Wi Fi and then also the login to the admin dashboard. So actually, I need you to give me that password there, Ben. Oh, sure. Yeah. Uh, so that's what it's meant to be. Okay, great. So uh, password there lets you into the actual admin back end now. And you see there are some actual, uh, there's some messages here, some security things that are good, right? Security is always a concern in these, uh, these in, uh, connected applications. So definitely change your password, stuff like that, close the SIM door, all that stuff. Uh, what's next though? So we don't actually have, this is from scratch. That's right. So it, we're not seeing it, but, but uh, you may be prompted for a wizard in this case, right? Yeah, that's right. So there are several sort of Cradle Point software tools out there mm -hmm. to help configure, configure and provision gateway devices. We're going to skip that for today. It's mm -hmm. quite a big topic. You yeah. should talk to them directly. Yes, right. Uh, but the next step for us is we put the SIM into the device, and now we want to get it connected to the network. Right. Uh, so to do that, we're going to go to Connection Manager here. Uh, and right now, we don't have a profile loaded for the modem, so we're going to add that profile. I'll call this the hologram. Hologram Cradle Point. And it is of the type modem, which is totally fine. Uh, in this case, we don't have multiple SIM slots or any other sort of right. Some of this is based on the actual hardware, this hardware. That That's right, yeah. Right. There's some Cradle Points that have multiple SIMs, so you can apply different profiles accordingly. We're going to skip that for now. We'll just click Next. Uh, so here we are going to be prompted for all the configurations for the SIM card. Uh, we'll just kind of go through all of them. For the most part, you can leave it as default. So these are all default. 
making that as default. Uh, on the modem side, you're gonna leave this as default as well. Uh, basically allowing the device to connect to any carriers. Uh, CDMA, also just leave as default. Uh, SIM, APN, and auth. So this is something that we'll this have to- This is the important to, part, yeah. This is the important <laughs> part. So this is where a lot of people get hung up. Uh, the important piece for using the hologram SIM is that you do need to set an APN. Yes. So for us, it's hologram, all lowercase, no username and password. So what that looks like in practice is uh, we're going to not require a PIN, so our SIMs do not have a PIN. Uh, we'll let the authentication be uh, default. Username, password, leave those blank. And then for the APN, we're gonna do override the default APN and type hologram. All right, and then we will save that. Uh, filter, uh, you, oh, that's right, filter picture, you also need to change the technology to be LT and 3G. Mm -hmm. uh, YMAX doesn't work. Right. Uh, so. With these settings, so again, APN, setting it correctly, and then change the technology, you can now save that profile. Great. So now this is basically now a new profile to set up, and with that SIM card in there, as long as it's activated, and you've done these things, you set the APN, things in general should work, right? These that, are kind of the things we see a lot, right? That's right. So what's happening on the back end here is we've now, we've activated the SIM, so on the hologram side, it's ready to go. So if mm -hmm. the device connected to the network, it would be allowed to do that. Mm -hmm. Uh, we also have told the modem to go ahead and initiate a sort of reset and try to connect to the network. So that's what's happening on the back end. You can actually look at this if you go into the system logs. So we can update this here. Uh, so I guess it hasn't gone through this process yet. So it may take a little bit of time to. Right. I was going to say, what about the lights on the front of this thing too? Because there are, there are some status indicators that we've seen. You might have to tilt it up a little bit. So it looks like there actually isn't a cell signal yet because it's reprovisioning and, and doing all that stuff. So once we see those lights, that's when we know that there's actually some activity around there, just like your cell yeah. phone when you see That's exactly bars, right. right. So you can see a little bit of, of flashing activity. I think that's right. actually for Wi-Fi, but yeah, eventually we'll see the signal here. Um, and if not, we'll just, oh, can we go back yep. here? Um, and just monitor that connection. Right, and that's another thing that we were talking about earlier today was Sometimes this takes a little while just because you are switching networks and on the cellular side, it's you know basically, oh, look, see, turn, turn green there as well. Uh, so you can see, yeah. you got some green status now, we should start seeing some actual network activity. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Ah, there we uh -huh. go, so now we oh. have uh, all the bars. <laughs> got the bars, right. Got the bars. Okay, great, good. so let's, uh, we'll update here and double check. And like you said, this is a really good way to troubleshoot, mm -hmm. you know, especially if you're calling for help or anything like that, you know, us or Cradle Point, anyone. You know, check your SIM, check your APN, those are the big ones, but then also check your logs, make sure you have signal. Uh, if you're out in the middle of nowhere or if you're in a network closet, any of those kind of things, there could be, you know, signal and antennas really matter. So. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, in particular, the piece of information that you're gonna look for is the credit point logs will report things that the modem has, so radio information. Mm -hmm. So in this case, we have an RSSI of minus uh, 63 dBm. So that's very good. Uh, what, yeah, what are the levels that you would consider? Like, yeah, when, when should people be concerned? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, dBm, if you aren't aware, it's a logarithmic scale. So every three dBs, you basically double or uh, double your power if you go up or lose half your power if you go down. Right. So it actually encompasses a lot of uh, signal information there. For normal cellular signals, mm -hmm. you need to have a certain number of dBs in your DBI, your uh, noise floor, has to be, or SNR has to be a certain uh, intensity. Uh, I would say RSSIs of minus 63 are awesome. They're super high power. Sure. Um, if you go down to like the minus 85 to minus 95, uh -huh. that's tolerable. Below 95 is when you really get into Got issues. It. Got it, okay, yeah. that's good to know. Good enough. Yeah. Um, and that point you could probably move it around. Obviously this is a small router, you can try different areas and stuff yeah, like absolutely. that. So, yep. uh, so some other information here, so SNR, that's ultimately the, or so SINR, uh, these are ultimately the attributes that tell you if you actually have connection, so mm -hmm. that's the good stuff. Uh, RF band, so in this case it's selected band four, band four is T-Mobile, which makes sense because the device that we provisioned is on, go back to plans and coverage, uh, it is on the T 250 meg US only plan, which is T-Mobile only, so life is good there. Right. Uh, and just to, to reassure though, we cover more than that, but that's the bulk higher. higher yeah, it's a cheaper rate for if you're right. doing testing, which right. is kind of what we're doing. Yep. So yeah, Great. so those are sort of the two places to, to take a look here. Okay, yeah. cool. So are we connected again? I think we are. Okay. Yeah, so let's take a look here. Um, so again, we're in this connection manager, just taking a look and it looks like we're connected. So we got four bars here, Stat state is connected. Uh, it looks like we have passed in the time that we've talked. Uh, <laughs> we 1.2 1 1 megs, which is right. all of 
Chris's laptop doing Right, exactly. Updates. So this Stay is like, there. yeah, I mean, like Slack and just background data processes. These are things that do pull data, and it is important to know, you know, if you are controlling your devices and you know everything that's going on, you should be in control of how much data you send. But if, if you just put a random computer on the network, uh, you, you know, be careful, yeah. right? So there's always data costs there. Yeah. So uh, it's important to know. But also Great. another good reason to do, when you're testing, doing those higher data plans, you yeah. won't be shocked. For the most part, you're not connecting the laptop. Sometimes right. you are, actually. Right. So like for payment centers or other things, laptops sure. could be connected. Yep. Uh, for IoT applications, it's usually not the case. Right. <laughs> you usually have more control over the data. And right, and that's usually that. more pay-to-go anyways, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay, well, and we can, you know, here's the, the moment of truth. Uh, let's just go to Google, see what happens. I guess that's not a good test, is it? It's well, always cached. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Google hologram. Right, 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 right. Yeah. yeah. So we can go to hologram.io. Oh, go to our blog, uh, where we may be posting this. So let's see. How I'm curious how much data we actually use. Oh yeah, that. well, you know. <laughs> yeah. See, I mean, that's the thing. So again, yeah. web technology. You know, web programmers are not necessarily the most, uh, you know, stingy with their data. <laughs> and uh, mostly the assets. Like, look at yeah, this thing. That's loading, true. Right? Yeah, that's I mean, a, that's a full a full uh, picture there. So. Yeah, very good. Okay, great. So we are online. We are connected with a, a laptop here. At this point, you could, you know, you could take your Wi-Fi connected widget and put it through here. You yeah. could also do things like actually manage uh, which ports it's allowed through, right? So like on the back end with with Cradle Point, there is a, a lot of security, you know, you, which port port access and all that stuff, and that's the reason to use this anyways. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And and honestly, like if you're looking for an industrial solution, Cradle Point is great. I mean, they have, I think I mentioned already, a lot of tools for IT departments to lock things down and be happy and be okay. To, you know, IT is scary, and this is a way to make it less scary. <laughs> right, right. And we should also mention too, this is uh, this is using NetCloud as like a, a remote management thing. We are not using tool, that yeah. in this case. Yeah. Uh, but I think if we if we Factory reset this thing. I think I did that once. It actually goes and pulls those things. So just important to note as well, if you are on the net cloud, it may change your uh, your setup. So yeah, perfect. Okay, great. Well, uh, we'll be covering more devices. You know, we like the Cradle Point stuff, but it's, there's a wide, wide world of hardware out there, and we'll be showing you how to do more of it here at Hologram. So thanks, Ben, for uh, for showing us this yeah, stuff. Yeah, thanks for having me. Okay, see you next time.